Okay, I have started to record. Okay, okay. thanks, ma'am. All right. So I, I will repeat a couple of things uh, so that it is uh, become a part of the record. Okay. Mm. So the main point API gateway we started to use when we uh, came to the world of microservice or APIs. So uh, microservice, the REST APIs uh, which are built. So uh, when you have very, very big number of APIs, it is very difficult to manage them. Okay. So on different angles, when you try to manage APIs manually, you have to put a lot of effort and it will be very buggy to debug any issues uh, at uh, production, very difficult. Okay, And then when you want to migrate from one system to another system, it is difficult. When you want to deploy for a small, small changes, it is difficult. Okay, So these all things were handled uh, through certain uh, API gateway frameworks, I would say. So uh, a few uh, like uh, Kong, then APG, AWS API Gateway, Azure API Gateway, they become very popular. And similar to that, IBM uh, API Manager is also one of them, which are used across uh, the world in very, very big projects. Okay, when I say very big projects, like, you know, uh, the load, how, uh, let's say, Amazon or Flipkart, right, these kind of applications, which are very, very highly transactional, right, they, they use uh, such kind of API gateways. Okay. So, uh, Kong is one of them. Now, uh, when I will go for API gateway, right, so that fast point come. So, um, uh, the point will be, when in the application you are using APIs, okay. Now, if you are using two, three APIs, should you spend money for API gateway? No, that you don't. When you have huge number of APIs, huge transactional, you have a lot of complications. That thing only you should go for it. Okay. So now, can you give me a quick brief about uh, the uh, requirement or the use case what you have in your organization so that I can feed you detail related to that more. <coughs> Okay, uh, so from uh, in our organization, um, like we have, uh, it's a fab bank, mm -hmm. and we have multiple fab clients. We have other uh, other uh, non-fab cli uh, clients as well. Like like in the sense, like the external clients we have, mm -hmm. and uh, we have uh, you know uh, fab internal uh, services uh, like gateway services are there. And then we have the actual providers also we have. So here basically it is, uh, since it's a fa uh, bank, like we have multiple uh, multiple channels are there. Okay. So I'll tell you. So uh, in the banking application, I have worked in a very big uh, banking application as Lloyd's Banking Group. is one of the top five uh, you know, banks in the world. Okay. So what happens in bank, uh, the products which they use, right? So each product independently, they have their own services. Okay. So for example, if you take an example as let's say personal account maintenance, your statements, your um, loans, again, in, in, inside the loan, you'll have all different types like, you know, home loan, your personal loan, car loan, etc. Then you, it may be for the insurances, right? Then uh, finance related, right? Then bank transfer related, Right? then fixed deposit related so all and uh, different things wherever you have different different functionalities they are previously it was a monolith like inside a single code base everything used to be managed and that same code used to be deployed into distributed systems and uh, it was not scalable so now what is happening is for each of these functionalities independently ui components are built and independently, each functionality is built with its own server to maintain it. Okay. So let's say personal account where you want to fetch your account details. Another is, is your, let's say your fixed deposit details. Okay. So there will be two different services. One for the fixed deposit, one for the personal details. Okay. And then in the UI also, you will have two different UI component. Okay. So those UI components are also independent. But when you log in into a banking site, what happens is whatever UI components are applicable for you, 
those are logically mapped and uh, merged or uh, represented for you okay you see only those component and then when you do any operation for those components then those related services are called now for personal details let's say uh, uh, you have a service called personal uh, account details service okay that service will be deployed in a server and it will represent one endpoint to do all crud operations so when i say all crud operation you should be able to update your details add details okay and uh, change the details all kind of thing okay so that particular service now will be deployed into multiple instances based on the load it needs okay and uh, let's say you have the another service for fixed deposit now fixed deposit you may not use every day or every week sometimes you may use yearly or sometimes you may not use also sometimes per month also you might use it so usage of your uh, fixed deposit detail service is very less compared to your personal uh, account details right so the scalability which you, you need for your personal details and banking uh, component is very high compared to your fixed deposit details sometimes it may be uh, you know divided by 10 sometimes it will be divided at 100 also okay so based on how much fixed deposit transactions you do yourself hmm. so previously what used to happen since both has used to be a monolith now you have needed to have both in different different servers okay so it used to put a, a huge load and your system maintenance cost was very high because you need to deploy both them together into single system and single system is not supporting the scalability so you need one more system so like that you needed very heavy machines and very heavy or uh, very high speed networks to maintain those projects but now based on your need you are basically able to split them out and utilize the cloud services as you need as you go that is why the cloud services say that you pay as much as you use right previously everybody used to have their own data center own servers and all and that used to be very very costly so when the you know on premise uh, uh, started to move to cloud then this kind of architecture also evolved and the purpose was to uh, one was to uh, make your system scalable and uh, performant at the same time you basically reduce the cost also okay so now api gateway uh, now we know why we need a api gateway <coughs> Okay, so uh, what we'll do is, uh, I have this uh, document I pulled for you, okay, Kong API Gateway. Now in this, uh, in the first day, let's cover this uh, introduction section, okay. So un under introduction, whatever topics are there, we will just have a overview of that, okay. Then you are going to go through them in detail and then uh, come back and give me a overview in detail okay once that is done then other topics whatever are there and along with the practicals we will cover them is it fine question anything so far uh, that's fine so which the, which one we are we are supposed to cover today today we will uh, do the introduction section Uh, no, you asked to asked us to go through it and then get the summary and all, right? So that's what I'm asking. Like that will be under mm -hmm. introduction section. You have this couple of uh, points. So if okay. you see the document, right? On the left side you have introduction. Get started with Kong. Kong in production. Mm -hmm. So introduction section. A uh, couple of you can go if it is heavy, and uh, mm -hmm. we can do it in two three parts. Okay. Hmm. So from top to bottom, let's say uh, three topics you take, go through them in detail, read out. Because see, each of uh, these statements are enriched with a good amount of information. Okay. So you uh, can go through each one of them and they are very uh, simple uh, way written. Uh, the moment you read it, you will understand that. 
okay and then note down those more main points extract the main topics which make sense to you then okay. we will discuss on those topics and if you have any questions around those then we will uh, i will clarify them okay, okay. for example let's say uh, in this uh, table of features right now you say api infrastructure modernization okay then you have all these uh, different uh, bullet points under that now uh, you have these two options open source and enterprise version right so if you see in the open source you don't have gateway mocking option okay so what yeah. is gateway mocking okay what we can achieve through that and uh, if i am using open source it is not there so do i need to go for enterprise who should go for enterprise and who should go for open source so these are the things which will be required for a experience level uh, and a person who wants to do the devops for kong api gateway okay okay there's basic configuration basic installation and uh, usage of these things that everybody will do but what will make you different is these differences which uh, you know but where you can guide the organization uh, how efficiently they can use it and uh, with a lowest cost okay and traffic management and you know uh, transformations you can see all this how we can do on on in different ways then security governance you have observability this is a very important topic observability okay so you will be using uh, log monitoring api analytics okay so you need to understand what is observability versus what is uh, analytics uh, in terms of logs and monitoring alert and monitoring okay, okay. then enterprise support and services so what are the supports you get in enterprise version but in open source you don't but if i still use open source will i be able to manage these things yes you can there are alternatives to do that but that will be a very effort consuming and you need a very specialized knowledge on the subject okay there will be certain components which are built in the enterprise which they won't give so you you would be able to build yourself also if you want so these all depends situationally that uh, you should uh, is it worth to spend money uh, to uh, build those uh, tools or it pay uh, to the you know, company and use the enterprise version okay then you have this kong dev portal we'll see how what are the things are there in portals then uh, you need to understand concepts of kubernetes if you don't get you know what is kubernetes and all um it's not uh, not clearly okay. so we will do the overview of that so uh, okay we will go through that kong uh, gateway plugins then you have tools okay insomnia deck get started with kong okay so let's cover this many uh, under overview of kong these these topics let's cover okay today and okay. tomorrow once you uh, this only one page i'm talking okay so in this yeah. itself you will see many terms and you know uh statements which you might have some or other doubts okay so you need to think in very broader manner okay so why certain thing is required why everybody are not using why uh, every should someone should go for it right think on different angles on each and every terms write down your questions and uh, write down all the bullet points which you uh, get out of it okay hmm. so once you complete this uh, section then we will uh, go through the remaining one by one let it be lighter because you are also not getting much time so uh, as fast as possible little little you finish it instead of you know having uh, one or two classes weekly if possible we will have for half an hour but we will have more frequent classes so that you know you'll be able to uh, grab the things faster and it will be more interesting in that case Sure. Okay. So we will go through this and let you know. Or uh, tomorrow we have a class. How it is? Uh... Yeah, you go through this 
and uh, let me uh, and tell me uh, let's uh, you know try to uh, keep it maybe around uh, 11 12 or 230 let's make it okay so we'll target for 230 so uh, if you are able to finish it then we will go through at 230 uh, on the next topic tomorrow the okay. so, uh, next few days i have some time so or maybe i'll be able to give you daily right let's see and uh, as much as possible to cover and afterwards we can have a gap for one or two days based on the other priorities. Sure. Yeah. Arjuna, that is okay, right? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, so, yeah, so we will go through that and like, you know, like uh, we can go through it together so that it will be easy for us. Exactly. Sure. If both of you go through and uh, have some self discussions on each topic uh, that will help you to learn more yeah sure sure uh, yeah uh, you, you, you will send this uh, recording as well as this link i'll right? send the recording link i already have sent i'll send that recording oh, okay fine. Yeah. yeah then thanks for today's class right uh, arjuna we are winding up right yeah yes 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 yeah, yeah. thanks thanks a lot yeah no thanks yeah. okay talk Bye. to you again later